We're getting off the Norwegian Gem again on the lovely island of Bermuda. This is our third and final day here. We're gonna maybe go into Hamilton, maybe go to the beach, check it out. Maybe look at the construction going on here. Of course, the uh, Anthem of the Seas by Royal Caribbean moved in yesterday. So they've got 6,000 passengers or something. That's what we were told on board anyway. I don't know how many actually it is. So we're gonna see about a bus and ferry pass or something. That building. And bought transit passes. They're good for ferries and buses all over the island. $19 for one day. So we're gonna take a ferry here when it comes into Hamilton. That's the main town. And then maybe a ferry across to where we can get to the lighthouse and so on. As we thought. So we're gonna climb on here. I think it's a 15 minute ride into Hamilton. Of course, there's the Norwegian Gem and Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas and the line. And five minutes ago, there was only 50 people in line. Now there's several hundred. We're sitting here on the ferry boat. It's just taken off, headed for Hamilton. I'm going to drive past the ship there. Hamilton is over there across the bay. Yeah. So there's our ship as we sail away from it on a ferry boat. Yeah. Headed somewhere over there. We have to go out here though. And then we're going to make right and head to Hamilton. Across the water. About 15 minutes. This is the Royal Naval Dockyard. docking here in Hamilton and it's a big suit compared to the rest of the island big line of people trying to get back on the ferry boat I guess to go back to the dockyard where the ships are Got a beautiful park here lots of boats lots of water I'm gonna go down here where I can look back and see the town. Unfortunately, for us to keep on schedule, we have to leave here in 15 minutes. But you can walk the main street. I mean, and there's other stuff up, up behind there. There's the big church up there. But now I'm out on the tip of the dock. Looking back at Hamilton. But we'll be leaving in a few minutes. If you do get off the ferry there, you can walk out here and be right in the main part of town. Walk up and down this street. A lot of traffic, busy little town. Got these moving baskets of flowers. Flags. Vineyard Vines. Information Center. And the terminal. But we want to go to the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, so we're going to grab another ferry right now over to Belmont Hills. We got on the ferry that's going to take us to Belmont. It has a several stops, just like a bus. And I think Belmont is the second or third one. I'm not positive. But we're going to leave Hamilton here and 
head over to the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse and then Horseshoe Bay Beach. On the ferry boat, coming from Hamilton, headed towards Belmont, which is hopefully near the lighthouse, but it's beginning to look like it's not going to be very near the lighthouse. I just don't know. Stop here. A couple people got on, a couple people got off. I'm not sure what the name of this stop is, but I think it's an island. Okay, now we're going to back up and go around that way. Made a call there. Now we're headed for the next ferry terminal, we'll call it. Belmont, yes? Thank you. Thank you. How often do you come here? Every half hour? Uh, once an hour. Okay, thanks. So this is the Belmont Ferry Terminal. And we're going to walk to the other side of the island now. Ought to be fun. We were on the Corona, the SS Corona. But they use SS. That's our ferry boat leaving. And this little building says Belmont on it, which is where we wanted to go. So we came up the stairs, Belmont Hills residential entrance only. And this doesn't look like a good place to walk, but let's get our bear in there and start walking down this road. Came across this diving board out into the ocean. We're gonna walk along here for a while. Maybe not the best place to walk, but it's what we have to do. The Belmont Ferry. We've been walking how far? So we got some help from a local Bermudian that sounded like an American. And we're gonna go up this windy road here. Well, she said it was something else, but the sign there says Longford, so you call it whatever you want. That's where we turned, though, up from the road down there, where the ferry was, and it's fairly steep. But we're almost on the top, and I think we'll be able to get our bearings in. Flowers. 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 We've come to, like, an intersection where it says St. Mary's Road. So we're going to look at a map here real quick, see where we are. I guess we're at St. Mary's Road. We came down Longford Road here, all the way over from the ferry. It was up and then back down, and we're on what's called Middle Road now. And this blue pole is a bus stop, so we're going to wait here a few minutes and see if a bus comes along, because we of course bought all day bus passes. Of course, we won't wait very long, but, but we'll wait a while. We don't know exactly when the bus has come. We do know this is a bus stop, but we're going to continue on. And if a bus comes, try to catch it. Otherwise, walk. But this is Middle Road, and we're headed west, which is actually back towards the ship. It's just the ship is several miles away. We've been walking down Middle Road for a few minutes. We came across the St. Mary the Virgin Church and Cemetery and these places that have lots of bananas in their yard. See all those bananas? And there's no sidewalk, so I'm on the road. But nobody's hit me yet. I think we're going to make a left here and go up over and come down in the beaches. That's what I think. On Kyber Pass. That's Middle Road. We came from up there. And this is Kyber Pass Road. We're going to go up over this hill and when we get to the other side we should see beaches. And probably resorts and stuff.
so up we go. Pretty steep. We came down from down there, middle road. We passed Quarry Lane, Random Lane, Lightbourne, and I think we're almost to the top of the hill here. Which will be good news because then we can go downhill. Because I'm kind of sweating and breathing hard, even though it's not really hot. Look at these cliffs. We called it Kyber Pass down there. Up here it says it's Spice Hill Road, and that's Tribe Road number five. And we're in the Warwick Parish. And we have come to a spot where there is no sidewalk again. So, we're gonna move on ahead. This side of the hill, it's Spice Hill Road. There's Kyber Heights Road going that way, I guess. I can see the ocean out there though. So we crossed over the island and it was two hills with a valley in between. And one and a quarter miles. And one and a quarter miles since we left the Belmont ferry boat. Walking down this uh, Spice Hill Road, Kuiper Pass Road, it kind of went parallel to the ocean for a long time. And so now I think we're going to turn left here again and head down to what should be beaches. Take a look around though. Houses are all white roofs with pretty color walls. We came to Warwick Lane, and we've decided not to take it because it kind of cuts back. We're going to go up to Tribe Road number seven. Let's see what happens. It should be another quarter mile down here or so. We just have to navigate this intersection. But that's Warwick Road. The reason is because we think there might be cliffs there. And Tribe Road number seven comes out in what looks like a park and a beach. Warwickshire Drive. Remember we're on the Spice Hill Road, I think. And we see the South Road down there, I think. So we're just gonna take this. It's not on the map, but I'm sure it goes through. Pretty sure. And we're just gonna go down this road. Don't even remember what it was called. And it's pretty windy. Somebody's got a swimming pool. And now we're gonna go back up. And I think the road we're looking for is just up through those trees. So up, up around the bend. Up there, we wound down and then wound back up. And it was kind of steep. But the main road is just ahead of us here. And it is pretty. I mean, this is how the Bermudians live, I guess. Well, these are probably the wealthier ones, since the beach is right over here. The Warwick Long Bay Playground. And I'm guessing the beach is just through these bushes. See the water? Let's walk along there. I see cars pulling out. I hear waves crashing. There it is. But I think we are on the top of some sort of cliff still. There's a turnout, I guess, for viewing. Oh, yeah. Now I see a beach. Big beach. And that sand is almost pink, right? So we're going to go on down there a little further, past the horse crossing. There must be access down there somewhere. That's what we're going to do. So this must be the horse crossing. And we're thinking we can take the path the horses take down to the beach. So that's what we're going to do. Except Janet wants to say something. That sign says Tribe Road number seven. Okay. So Tribe Road was a was a path? 
Maybe that's why we didn't see five so well. Anyway, through the bushes. Sand is getting in my shoes. Gotta run. Janet's there somewhere, but she's not running. But I am. There's the beach. A fork in the road. Hmm? Hmm. I think this way. We're gonna go to the left here, because it seems to be more direct down to the beach. And then it turned away from the beach. What? <laughs> Janet thinks maybe we should turn around. I think not. I think we are so close now, this has got to go to the beach. Janet's mumbling something about it doesn't go to the beach, but she doesn't see what I see, which is this path that goes to the beach. What'd you say? Now she's shaking her head in disgust that I've made fun of her. Dove! There it is. Yeah, from down here it's not so pink. Not that it was up there either, but you know what I mean. There are two people down there on the beach, and a person there, and us. So, this is Warwick Long Bay. It does have some seaweed on it, and waves crashing. So if you're not into seaweed or waves crashing, or emptiness, maybe you want to stay away from here. Otherwise, this is a pretty nice beach. Probably not good for snorkeling, though. They have a little life buoys. I guess if you see somebody drowning out there. I'm not going out there, so... See, it's a little pinkish, right? Down now at the uh, southern tip northern tip. Well, at the right end of Warwick Long Bay. And we're going to go down one of these paths because I think there's another bay up ahead. We'll just follow these people. These guys seem to be collecting the seaweed for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go this way. I see a little kid up This there. place, which is a little beach, and I will tell you the name of it later, but it's full of people. It's protected by rocks, though. And another path to another place. So Warwick Long Bay, over there. This beach, to be named later. And a path to uh, still another. It's about six or eight beaches along this part of the coast. Some of them small like that, some of them big like Warwick. Some of them a little further hike. <laughs> Came from Warwick Long Bay, or Long Beach, Warwick. And we passed that little beach, and we found this beach, where people have their own umbrellas. And again, I'll have to look this up to see what the name of it is. It's a nice beach. It looks a little rougher here, though, I would say. We're going to continue on down that path. Eventually, we're going to get back up to the road and get the bus back to the ship. So that's the third beach we've come to along this walk. And now here's another one, just right up next to it, again with umbrellas so, and beach chairs. So they must rent these. There must be a guy around here renting this, sort of like a tobacco bay yesterday. Oh, this is interesting. Let's walk down here. 
I guess this is still part of that other beach. No, it's a fourth and separate beach. Man, I'm gonna try to go by here. Well, don't do that, you'll be trapped. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, ready? Go. Dead in. <laughs> anyway, so it is a separate beach. Rocks. And this is another beach. With all sorts of gear. And fun bags, which you may know is cornhole. Pink sand, five dollars. So, another beach, nobody on it. Lots of uh, stuff for rent though, or to buy. We're gonna go up this trail and drop down on the next beach. Eventually we need to get back to the street though. Trail is a little different. We can go that way, or we can go that way. So we'll go this way. But it looks like uh, we're going to be going up a cliff anyway. That may be the end of our day at the beach. The other way took you out to a cliff. So, we're gonna head on this way. Maybe back to the street. Now which way? Hi, hi guys, we're from Boston. They're from Boston. Where our ship left from. No, we're from California. Oh, right, right. So we're on our way from Elbow Beach, walking the beach. Was that Elbow Beach? Yeah, we came up about a mile. Just, this is taking you to the cliffs. cliffs. This takes you around. So. All right. Nice Thank meeting. you very much. We'll see. Let us get ahead of you. We're yep. <laughs> Putting in miles. Watch out for the cacti. We came out of the jungle area. The beaches we saw were scattered down along there. We came to this open area. We're headed for Horseshoe Bay. That's the beach everyone goes to and we should be able to catch a bus back to the ship from there. So, we're gonna continue on this way a little bit. Hopefully just a little bit. So it's a well-beaten path between the beaches, but there were lots of forks. Most of them went out to cliffs, like this. If I were to go down there, I would be at a cliff. However, there is another beach there. I'm not sure how you get to it. But look at that. That's another beach. And I'm sure there's another one over there. But we're going to keep taking the path. We've come out of the clearing now, back into a forest, jungle, whatever you want to call it. We should be close to Horseshoe. <laughs> we should be close to Horseshoe Bay. I want you to look at that though. Look at the pattern of the leaves. Cool. We came out of the jungle where you can see the color of it all around. Again, there's paths going every which way, but I'm sure this is the path down to the beach just going to be a while. 
somebody told us it was three quarters of a mile from where we're, the last beach. So, should be pretty soon then. Now we're on a bigger path. I would say you could drive a car on this path, as long as there wasn't a car coming the other direction. So, is there a beach down there? There is a beach down there. I'm not sure if that's Horseshoe Bay or not. But let's go down and have a look. So here's another beach. The path is right up there. This is a pretty good sized beach. I don't think it's Horseshoe Bay. I think it's just another one of the mini beaches along here. Covered with seaweed and looks like dried out man of wars if that's what they are. And some people behind the rocks over there. Anyway, let's uh, head back up. There's another little beach here. Horseshoe Bay is still up ahead a little bit. We're working the road. I believe that path leads down to that same beach we saw just in back of us there. And this path is going to lead us around to Horseshoe Bay, which should be a fairly large beach. And that's what There's the last beach that we didn't actually go down to. We climbed up this little hill, and there's Horseshoe Beach, shaped like a horseshoe. And it is today covered in seaweed. And there's a guy trying to surf. I don't believe those waves are big enough to have any fun on, but he should go to California. So that is pretty thick stuff. But it's sort of dry and springy. And then here's the beach, and that's some super fine sand, but not really pink at all. And I don't want to get my shoes wet. Some little birds. We'll just call them sandpipers. And then a lot of uh, rentals over there, it looks like. Umbrella, chair, liquor rentals. <laughs> anyway, that's Horseshoe Beach. Oh, there's those two people from Boston. Well, it's time for us to head to the road and catch a bus back to the ship. That's Horseshoe Bay Beach, covered with seaweed. Got a little bit of surf. At home, we'd call that blown out one to two. But it's got a cliff that says danger, but people climb up it. A little beach over here without waves. And the grill, gift shop and ice cream. And hopefully the bus is up that way, right? So. Horseshoe Bay is right out there. The public bus is up the hill. So we're going to go up the hill. And I think they mean we need to be up where that truck is. We're going to find out. Down there to the left. We've walked uphill a little bit. We have to walk up that. And warning, there are steps up there. And a lot of them. Down that way. Come up to this intersection, Horseshoe Bay sign. I don't know if this is uh, the South Road, I believe. Bus stop on the other side. Of course, that's for going that way. And the bus stop for us. Hopefully there's not too many people at it. They did give us a warning about the buses only hold 38 people and they get full sometimes. So we're going to see and hope. A bit of an event here at the dock. <laughs> Smoothie. Water. Water. People dancing. People dancing. People dancing. Hey, you look familiar. You guys are doing a great job. Great job. White hot. White hot. Yeah, copyrighted music. Copyrighted music. No.